everyone. Today I'm with Kelly's Taipa. I met her Kenny, practicing on the golf. will be mentioned in the description box below. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to give you a full and air tour of this 2008 Lexus IS250. In this review I'm going to be looking at the interior of the car. I'll explain how all the features work. Also start up, look at the engine, go to performance data and take a look around the exterior. I am going to be reviewing this car in my new format. I just want to take this opportunity to demonstrate the smart key access system. So at the moment I have the vehicle unlocked, all I have to do is keep my uh, key fob about my person, press this black button and it locks the car. After giving it a minute, just grab the door handle, it opens up. So let's get the car started, you just apply the clutch, light turns green, you hold it in. Turn on the headlights, as well as the fog lights, and the hazards. Your full cap release and boot release. Also has full electric windows. So just so the car doesn't lose the detection of the key fob, I'll just leave them lying here in the seat. But the windows are open, so in case the car does lock, it won't be stuck out of it. Exterior color is known as Morello Red. Looks very nice in this car. Indicator lamps on the front fenders. Also comes with these 18 inch Lexus Ally wheels. This particular model does have rain sensing wipers and it does have a dust sensor, which means when the light gets dim. Headlights will automatically turn on themselves. It does have HID projector headlamps. A full chrome grill. for the cap itself. It's a fantastic looking car in my opinion. Also has dual powered exhausts. It also has front and rear parking sensors. And as you can see, it does have an integrated third brake light. Boot space itself is excellent. Plenty of room in there for everyday type items. Point out there, it has these rear reflectors on both sides of the rear bumper. Brilliant looking car, a very good sports saloon. So, for the interior portion of the car, I'm just going to review it outside. To begin with, on the door panel, if I just open it out a little bit here, you have your power mirrors as well as your power locks, your safety switch for the rear windows, full power windows and your three person memory settings for the front seats. As I mentioned earlier the same thing can be found over here. That's chrome door handles. Comes with a CD radio as standard. The 
different settings on here. You select between your CD player and your auxiliary M port, for example. AM and FM. Climb control. Temperature settings for the drive from passenger side. It also has the usual settings. Aircon, front and rear defrosting, as you can see here, as well as full climb control, different modes, it also has heated seats for the driver's side and the passenger side, three different heat settings, you can also control the volume from the steering wheel and the channels. Yeah, and you've got your different mode settings. Also has cruise control located down here. You can change your display of the show you now. Using the button on my right. Average speed. And the outside temperature. This is uh, handbrake. Also, it's a six speed manual transmission. There's a little plaque here with all the gears written on it. Just run through them very quickly. You can gauge reverse, pull up on this lever like in a Toyota, over to the left and up. And also, that's something I was actually, I nearly forgot to demonstrate. If I just roll down the windows. Look at the mirrors. If I engage reverse, for example, the mirrors will tilt. You give me a better view of behind. And put it in a forward gear, they tilt back up themselves. Previous owner also fitted this Nokia Bluetooth system. There's a the microphone up there, and a little control panel for it down here. Also, under here, if you can see it, you can tilt your steering wheel, you also got your traction control and snow tire settings. Single cup holder. In the storage area there's another cup holder, as well as a 12 volt power outlet and your auxiliary import. The IS250 does have a full cloth and Alcantara interior perforations in the seats. Everything is in Alcantara pretty much, including this armrest. Seats themselves are very comfortable and supportive. So let's take a look at the back seat of the car. electric windows back here as well. Storage pockets in the back of each front seat. As well as an ashtray. Rear armrest, which is also wrapped in Alcantara storage area, two cup holders, it is completely stitched as well, also got your rear interior lighting, there's a coat hook, Very windy out there today. You can see now why I decided to do most of the review inside. And the mirrors. Also has an auto dimming rear, rear view mirror, sorry. As well as interior lighting. You can also select your lighting for the door. 
So let's see how the IS-250 sounds. Left to 4,500 RPM. Sounds excellent. Brilliant sounding V6 engine. And also when you hit the rev limiter, as you've seen, an orange circle comes up. Speedo dials look very nice. Very bright blue accents. Also has a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Very smooth and responsive. Release is located here. The engine in the 250 is a 2.5 liter V6, produces 204 brake horsepower, goes on to a top speed of 144 miles an hour. Six cylinder, 24 valve engine, produces 185 torques, and can average about 28 miles to the gallon. That has a 0 to 60 time estimated in 7.8 seconds has a multi-point fuel injected system. Two hydraulic support bars. So we'll just finish up the review now. But before I do, I'd just like to say that I do think the IS250 is a fantastic four-door saloon. It's very spacious, has a great engine, sounds amazing. Other things, it has a 5 star safety rating, it's very well equipped with the CD radio and climate control and you can even have this little aftermarket uh, piece that the previous owner installed. Brilliant car all around, definitely one of my favourite four door sports saloons anyway. There are of course a variety of petrol and diesel engines available. And a smart key access system that I was demonstrating earlier. Very easy to use. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this full and tour on the 2008 Lexus IS250. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe. And please stay tuned, there will be plenty more videos to come. Thanks everyone. So I'm just going to bring the Lexus back outside now. Repark it.